Hello guys, Billy Agachella here, and today I bring you another episode of The Crooked Man. Let's get started. Well, fire, fire hydrant, extinguisher, hydrant. Do you make fun of me? The men's bath, yeah, I want to go in. If I can't go in the girl's bathroom. Downstairs. The doors are behind you. A well. That's locked as well. What the hell was that? Was there, was there someone there? Uh, I, I c couldn't really see them in the dark. You go beat that shit out of me. Anybody here? I want to beat the shit out of you. Ooh, a fridge. You have food? There's nothing in the That sucks. Why is everything all neat? Why is there fire extinguishers just randomly put Nobody here. An open security box. Lots of books. Lots of books. Lots of books. The table. The trash can is empty. Books. Books. No. Lots of books. A waste of my time. Uh, there's a paper about topics by an exam. It's a paper exam. You, McGuire, Lefty Lewis. Well then, the vending machines don't work. I wish they did. It's locked. It's locked. A fire hydrant. So that's a fire hydrant. It's locked. <laughs> well. Talks about events. Talks about events. Oh, yeah. Anything good over here? Yes, finally. No power. Never mind. Copy machine. What's this on the floor? Security box requires a passcode. Shelves full of reports. Well, we're probably gonna need that. The trash can is empty later, so. Who's a book? Mirid's a book. It looks like some sort of diary. Indeed, law too needs a numeric representation. After all, basic things such as on or off, zero or one, can represent much more complex numbers. Using the smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking I hold in my high esteem. Though perhaps it's more than artistic notion that captivates mo me more than the mathematics. This guy, uh, his language is just, you know, lots of books. Why does this law school have math books? I'm terrible at math. Binary numbers made up of binary digits. Hmm, this is a clue, this is a clue. Okay, it gave it, so 1 equals 1, 2 equals 10, 3 equals 11. Great way. Friends mean more. Oh, another book. It looks like some sort of diary. I lost the note with my security box password, thus I couldn't get into the computer room and the headmaster get got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in the book somehow. I should go look. If I use my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I won't forget. But that's risky, but if you just use whatever, then you have my problem. Yeah, you forget. So where is this reference room? of these lock boxes in there. It looks like some sort of diary. Mitchell's dissertation made it into a scientific magazine. I'm so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class he'd be a prodigy. I also realized he and I have the same birthday. I used my birthday as a security goat, so I feel like maybe I should change it. So uh, if I find out the guy's birthday, what's his name? C. 
Cindy Peterson. That's a woman. Andrew Robinson. Locked with a six pin digit pen. Jesus Christ. Oh, shiny. Documents are strewn on the desk. The key to the room is among them. Got the key to John Keith's room. Some sort of notebook. Times are changing. Our existing laws are no use anymore. We must surpass the father of our law to find the true answer. I wonder what that means. I don't have any codes. Lots of books, books, books. Why do I have so many books? Ah, oh, there are events scheduled. Let's go find this John Keith. Room. Computer room. It's the computer room. Parlor. Well. The nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key. Infirmary. John Keith. Well, this is John Keith's stuff. So. Nameplate reads Franz Moore. Ray Twain. Notice about key. Room managers for the month. Don't lose the keys. Parlor Stacy Lizzie. Reference room Ray Twain. Lecture halls John Keith. Computer room Franz Moore. Lecture room Cindy Peterson. Storehouse Huge Wire. Is his name like Eugene McGuire or something? I feel like it is. Wait, where was the infirmary? <laughs> Forgot. Lecture hallway. What's this way? A memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissure in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse repairs needed. This is the faculty. Criminal law, John Keith. Civil law, Andrew Robinson. International law, Cindy Peterson. Criminology, Franz Moore. Philosophy of law, Lefty Lewis. Legal history, Hooray Twain. Comparative jurisprudence, jurisprudence, Huge McGuire. Dr. Stacy Lizzie. Jesus. Is there anything like in these cleaning tools? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Infirmary. I got the key for that. said they were so hold on okay room managers from on the case okay, so parlor it's Stacy Lizzie lecture halls junkie so junkie for the lecture hall or lecture yeah, halls. So I need to go find John Keith. And it must be in his room. It must be in his room, but I don't know where his room is. Now, parlor is this way. Which way is the parlor? There he is. There we go. Wait, I already opened John Keith. 
What's that? John Keith's room key, and I don't remember unlocking the door. Meh. Now, where's this parlor? Reference this is it. This is the floor. Here we go. What's this? I guess it's wire art or something. Not sure what it's supposed to be, though. Hmm, apparently it was made by Ray Twain, one of the lecturers. I don't know. The clock is stopped. The trash can is empty. Hold on. That's gotta mean something. That's good, like, be in here. Now, where was that, like, math teacher guy? I need that paper again. Janitor. Infirmary. Must be a top floor. This room. Yes, this is it. Lots of books. Okay. All right. Okay. So one 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 is fifteen. One five. Okay. So two five fifteen. Two five fifteen. So two five one five. Two five one five. Two five one five 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 Yes I got skills. I got some skills. that I don't know who'd you be what are you doing in this school you shady punk Sh shady punk I'm just looking for someone you shoved me out of the blue who are you give me a name or I'm calling the police on you David Hoover I'm looking for a guy who I think is was here I'm not a robber or anything hmm, you sure as if a robber would say they were one what do you want, a permit? Now you tell me who you are if you're going to ask me. I'm D. I graduated from the school, so I came to bring back some memories. D? That's your name? Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but... It's a nickname, dummy. You think I'd tell you some shady guy my real name? <laughs> God, what a br little brat. But I guess you ain't... S stolen anything yet. I'm just wondering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. What the hell's his problem? Don't didn't even apologize. He pisses me off. Uh anyways, a reference room? Yes. Alright. Once you see a red book, you get to read it. They say that people despise those who think similarly to them or who are in similar circumstances, but humans are curious in that they can hide any outward appearance of goodwill or hatred. Though they are two-faced deep down, they can make that idea seem unthinkable. 
You may despise someone much like you, but you may in your heart have affection for them. The improbable is not impossible. I never un understood this philosophy stuff. When you just dislike someone you don't like. Yeah. And wasn't that the book that the guy was talking about? Was that in like the lecture? Oh, this, this book. A record of books checked in and out. Sure, there's no key in there. Like, there's gotta be something good here. Couldn't have just gone all this way to find nothing. Shelf to remain. Nothing. Announcements of new arrivals. New arrivals. Whoa, what a creepy guy. George White. 1726 1806. A signatory of the Declaration of Independence. He is sometimes called the father of American laws for teaching the first classes in jurisprudence. Attached to the wall, but the screws are a little loose. If I had the right tool, I could unscrew it. elevator for carrying books to the basement. There's no power, so it doesn't work. Shelves in the basement are for staff only. Those who require books from the basement must sign a form and be accompanied by staff taking any materials that is prohibited. So, 1726-1806. I'm remembering that. 1706-1806. Seventeen oh six. Oh, it's all I need to remember. Seventeen oh six. Seventeen oh six. No, seventeen oh six. So it's just ones and zeros, okay. Well then. What do I have in my room? I don't have anything. gonna help me in the time like this. I already have John Keith's room key. Like, but his room key already ha his room already has a key. Like, what? already unlocked so I said he left something in the reference <laughs> didn't he?
I don't have a screwdriver and I don't know where to get one. This stinks. Well, I'm lost. Parlor, Stacy, Lizzie, Reference Room, Ray Twain. <laughs> well, there was nothing in the reference room. I have no idea. I'm stuck. I'm lost. I have no idea what I'm doing. Maybe I just need a drink of water or something. Ground more. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm literally lost. What is this? Oh, wow. Choices and a hammer. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, my God. I bet I bet you guys are yelling at me. I'm sorry. Yeah, can I unscrew this now? No, 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 has been searched already. Let's try. No. Yes. 
electro hallway. That's yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> God damn it! What? Why is it here? Back in the middle. Of I, I thought I killed it. <laughs> I it good enough. Damn it! I'll think about it later. I gotta run. Holy shit! What was I supposed to do? No, 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 no. no I don't want to start. <laughs> that was terrifying. That was. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to start a new game. No, I don't want to start a new game. Oh my god, that <laughs> scared the shit out of me. Well, I think that's a good spot to stop. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I didn't know he was going to move that fast. Well, I hope you liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button. <laughs> and <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That was, oh my god. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, I don't care about anything. I just, oh my god. <laughs> well, have a nice day.